Hello guys, Jose Rodriguez here. In this series of videos, I want to share with you how can you install WASA and also how can you start using it to do different cybersecurity uh, activities such as threat hunting. WASA is free and is open source, okay? And it offers you XDR and CM, and CM capabilities to protect endpoints, okay? If you are wondering what is the difference between, or what, what, are, what is the meaning of XDR and what is the meaning of CM, I invite you to review this blog post from Palo Alto Networks. I will share the link on the description of this video, um, where they describe both approach, uh, approaches, XDR, CM, and they also describe the difference, uh, similarities, benefits, and limitations of both approaches, okay? XDR stands for Extended Detection and Response, and CM stands for Security Information and Event Management. The key difference, according to this blog post, is the scope and integration of security data, okay? You have different sources that you can use to analyze the activity, the context in your network environment, okay? So I invite you to review this blog so you can get more details and uh, start understanding the difference between these two concepts, okay? But let's go back to our, um, our, our use case for this video, which is the installation of WASA, okay? So what you need to do is go to their website, is wasa.com, and you need to click on documentation here, and then we are going to click on quick start, and then if you scroll down, you will see the hardware requirements, the operating system requirements, and then all the steps that you need to follow to install WASA, okay? Um, for the purpose of this video, I will show you how can you use, uh, or how could you install WASA on an Ubuntu desktop uh, computer, okay? If I'm not mistaken, it's a 22.04 system, okay? So basically what we need to do is um, copy this command here, Okay, and this command will download the uh, installation script and then also run the installation script on your server. Okay, so let's, you can select everything, make right click and then click on copy, or you can just select this option here that will copy everything to your clipboard. Okay, so let's use this one. And then we need to go to our terminal. Okay, before I start running the command, let me show you the version of Ubuntu desktop that I'm using for this uh, video. It's gonna be, I'm sorry, having some issues with my, um, <laughs> with my keyboard here. Okay, so it's gonna be LSB underscore release, and then dash A. And you can see I'm running Ubuntu Desktop 22.04.4 LTS. Okay, so this is the, the version that I'm running. And something else that we will need um, in the future is we need to understand what is the IP address for this server. Okay, so it's gonna be IP space A. And as you can see here, the IP address for this server is 192.168.0.41. Okay, so let's just remind that uh, in case we need it later. Okay, so let's clear our screen. And we are, before we execute the command, we are going to change our current user to the root user. So we're gonna do sudo space bash, password. Okay, and now we are going to paste the command and then just hit enter. So th this will take a little bit. Um, when I was testing this before, sometimes it took eight minutes, sometimes it took 10, 12, the, um, up to, I would say 15 minutes in some cases. So I'll pause the video here and I'll, I'll be back when uh, the installation is completed, okay? But we are at the end of the, of the installation, we will get a summary of the installation that will basically give us the user, in this case the default is admin, and a password, okay? A random password uh, generated. And this is these are the credentials that we are gonna use to access the, the web interface for WASA, okay? 
So I'll be back when all this process is completed. So you can see it, it the script installed all the required dependencies if necessary. Then it generated all the configuration files and it then it starts installing all the different uh, WASA, WASA components. Okay, here's the index, the indexer, then installing the server. Okay, uh, one of the components that or the component that is not going to be installed is, are the agents. Okay, because basically um, the agents describe or represent all the different computers or or devices that you want to monitor or control. Okay, so we will we will do that later. Okay, I will see, I will see you examples to generate an agent for a Windows 11 uh, device uh, and for an Ubuntu server device. Okay, but these are not the only operating operating systems that you can use or monitor with WASA. Okay, there are different options that you have there. Okay. Let's just, let's keep waiting until the installation process is completed. Okay. The installation uh, process is completed and it was successful. And as you can see, we got uh, the summary at the end that give us um, an idea of how can we access the web interface? Okay, so it's basically uh, we need to copy and paste this um, this URL. We just need to change this by the IP address for our server. We already know that 192.168.0.41, and then is we're accessing port 443. Okay, so, um, this is the user and this is the password. Okay, so um, just remember to store this somewhere you can access later. Okay, um, and that's it. Now, before we access the web interface for WhatsApp, let me show you uh, after the installations, uh, there are some files that are generated um, after the installation. There is a service that is, uh, um, or a D1 that is running right now. Um, that is hosting the the was uh, the was server or manager. Uh, yeah, the was manager server. Okay. Um, so, and there is also a directory where you can find the configuration files uh, for this uh, server. Okay. So let let me show you first the um, the status of the service or daemon that was created for this application. Okay, so if you do system CTL, okay, um, a status, and then the service is going to be was a uh, dash manager, and as you can see, it's active, it's running, it started all the different components. Okay, um, so this is the this is how you can uh, check the status of the service. Okay. And you can use the same name if you need to restart. You know, whenever you make a change in the configuration file, you need to restart the server. Um, so that's one um, one step here. The second step would be let's double check the files that were generated after the uh, the installation process uh, was completed. Okay, so in our current directory. Okay, if you do ls space dash al, you will see that there is, uh, here is the installation script that we use to install WASAT also. Uh, I'm sorry, that we use to install WASAT. Um, and also we have a tar file here that contains all the files that were created during this uh, installation process. Okay, so it's a tar file we need to, um, there are a lot of files compressed inside this tar file, so we need to uh, extract those files. Uh, we are going to use a pre-install utility in Ubuntu, which is tar. Tar. Um, actually, I don't remember if this is uh, pre-installed or not, but 
you can if 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 if, if it is not available in your in your Ubuntu desktop um, instance, you can install using sudo apt install. Okay. So let's this use uh, tar, and we're going to use the x um, vf parameter, and then the name of the file, which is was it? Okay, files tar. Okay, and these are all the files within this folder. Okay, so if we make, if we run ls space dash al again, now you can see that there is a directory here. Okay, that contains all those files. So let's see, let's list all the files in that directory. Okay, so these are all the different files. One of the files that we will use later in, a, in another video, for example, is the passwords.txt uh, file. Okay. Um, there are different ways you can interact with this uh, WASA uh, manager server. And it could be through the web interface or it could be via the API, okay? Or via using APIs. Uh, so to do that, you will need a user and a password, okay? So if you access this file, so we are gonna do cat, uh, the directory, and then the name of the file is WASA passwords. So txt file, you can see here all the different uses. For example, this is this is the user for the web interface and the the was an indexer. Okay, you have another different users and passwords. Okay, depending on the component or the, or the specific task that you want to uh, perform on on this server. And at the bottom, you can see here. This is the user and the password. Okay. Um, to use the WASA API, okay? So this is just an example of the different files that you have, okay? So that was the second step. The first one was we, we checked the status of the of the service or the daemon. We just checked the, all the different files that, where can you find all the different files generated after the installation process was completed? Now, let me show you where can you find the configuration file for this uh, WASA server. Okay, this manager server. Uh, <coughs> and these files will be this list. And the director is bar OSEC etc. Okay, so in this directory, you will find this file OSEC.conf. So this is the file where you can um, review or maybe update all the different configuration um, values um, for this server, okay? So let's just add, uh, access this, the content of this file. You can use whatever utility um, you use. I, I use nano, so it's nano, and then the path of the file, so it's gonna be bar, osec, etc, uh, and osec.com. Hit enter. And here you can see all the different configuration values for this server, okay? Right now we are not going through all of these uh, details, but we will check them later in other videos, okay? The most important step here is to just understand, have a better idea of the location of the, this configuration file, okay? So last step would be we will access the the web interface for our WhatsApp man manager server, okay? Okay, so now we are going to access our web browser, okay? We are going to open a new tab and then just type the IP address for our server or if you want to do the whole URL, it's gonna be HTTPS and then the port 443. Okay, you will get this warning message. Let's click on advance and then just, we are going to accept the risk and continue. And the web the web interface for WhatsApp will start uh, loading. So you just need to use the admin user and the password. 
we got from um, the installation process, the summary. Okay, and let's just click on login. Okay, and that's it. So our WhatsApp Manager server is working. Okay, as you can see, this is the overview. You have different uh, tabs. If you go to Home, you have the overview. That's what you're. That's what we are looking at right now. Um, there are no agents, which means our server is not getting information from any other external device. But we do have data um, from our server. Okay, so if we click here, so you can see there are some alerts. We are not going to review them. I, I just want to show you the data. Okay, this 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 is information context that is being um, collected from our server. Okay, and that's it. That's how you can install um, your WASA server on Ubuntu desktop. Okay, in the next video, I'll show you how can you start adding agents. How can you start uh, collecting data or uh, from other devices. Okay, thank you.